What's going on guys? Welcome to another top 5 video and today is going to be my top 5 favorite guns in Call of Duty Zombies. Now bear with me, it's like 2 in the morning when I'm recording this and I'm sick so it's like I'm trying and I had to get this video up before tomorrow. So yeah, and when I mean by my favorite guns, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're good guns, but it could be like I may like the sound, the sounds of the gun, I may like how like how it feels. I might may like like something like from the past or whatever like nostalgic or whatever but that doesn't mean like that these guns are really really good so I just want to put that out there so I hope you enjoy so you know how I was talking about a nostalgic feeling about a gun well basically that's what this number five spot is so in the number five spot we have the ARK7 from Black Ops 3 now if you understand that reference, I'm gonna be super happy. So basically, when I say the ARK, I mean the KN. The ARK was the name in the beta. So, and I played a lot of the beta, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a nostalgic feeling from zombies. It could be from multiplayer too. Like this gun, I used all through the beta, and I should stop talking about multiplayer because this isn't a multiplayer channel. Um, the KN44, I just, I don't know why I love it. It's just like. The sound is amazing. I just love it, and I mean, all the black, um, all the Black Ops Three guns have that like sound of like metal, like hitting metal. I don't know if it's necessarily hitting metal, but the KN is amazing in my opinion. I mean, it's a pretty good gun too, um, especially at high rounds. If you pack up on it, it, be it becomes the Anointed Avenger. Uh, the mobility, I mean, it's good because it's a, uh, it's an AR. So I mean, it's I, I just love this gun because of the nostalgic feeling and just the sound of the gun. And you're going to find that I like a lot of guns for the sound of it. it. And I don't know. It's just, I love this gun. So that's our number five spot. So at the number four spot, we have the foul from Black Ops 2. You know, the foul. I don't know how to, I mean, it's not necessarily the best gun. I mean, it's it's all right, but it's a semi-automatic, and it can't be the foul from Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 foul, completely two different things in my opinion, because the foul Black Ops 1, it sounds absolutely terrible. And then, like, the, the foul from Black Ops 2, it just sounds, it actually sounds like it like a really like aggressive sound it's like boom 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 and that was the worst explanation i could possibly give but i don't know i just love this gun and then when you you're just like aiming for headshots and it just feels like it has so much power and here's the thing you can't pack a punch this either because if you pack a punch it it doesn't have that sound that i love i really just like this gun for the sound and i mean the iron sights are pretty cool too so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this gameplay again for you but I'm gonna have the sounds playing so that is the number four spot So at the number three spot, we have the Commando from Black Ops 1. And I remember saying in my last video that this is in my top five favorite guns of all time. And it is. It's an amazing gun. And I mean this is one this is one of them on the list that is actually really, really good. This gun's way too OP in my opinion. If you like if you're on Kino and you're running a Thunder Gun, you have a commando. You're, you're pretty set in my opinion if you have a meal kick and you get that m16 But you gotta think about it though when you ask someone if you say hey, bro I got an assault rifle They're either gonna one picture the m16 or two picture something that looks like the commando the commando is like the brand name for ARs and I don't know. I just love the sounds of this gun I love the damage it does and it's the number three spot Okay, so this gun this gun, if you were to ask me what's my favorite gun in Zombies multiplayer campaign for any Call of Duty game, it would hands down be this. If we were talking about just Zombies, it would, I mean, it'd technically be my number one, but I have a little uh, joke at number one, which I mean, I yeah, okay, you'll see when you get there. But at the number two spot, we have the FAMAS from Black Ops 1. And again, this is one of those guns that I like it for the sound. I like it for the, I don't know. Yeah, the damage is pretty good. I like it for the points, like how much points it gives you. And I, I only like it in Black Ops 1. I can't, I don't like it in Black Ops 3. Uh, I just, 
I don't know. I just like it in the older form. It just it just appeals more to me. And this is again one of those one of those guns that you cannot pack a punch because it gets it completely like cancels out the sound that I love. And the Famas, I don't know. When I go on Black Ops One, I on like multiplayer, I always run the Famas, and I can't run a sight on it or anything. I have to run a raw Famas, and it's the greatest gun ever. Fun fact: This is the first gun I've ever used in my Call of Duty career quote-unquote career and it's i just i'm glad that this is the first gun that i use so yeah the famas it's a number two spot okay guys so at the number one spot you'll never expect this gun but I mean, you kind of would. You kind of would. Like I said, this is like, a, like a joke number one. I don't have a real number one. If you want to make a real, real number one, then the Famas will be my number one. But at the number one spot, my favorite gun, quote unquote favorite gun in Call of Duty Zombies, is the Spectre. Well, wow, it's your name, yeah. But here's the thing. I did not know this gun existed until a few days ago when I was, uh, you know, getting a gameplay for the, the uh, Commando, and I was like, crap, there's a gun called the Spectre, this has to be my number one gun, so I was like, this gun can't be that bad, so I use it, uh, you burn three ammo really quick, uh, so that that's cool, and then it doesn't kill at all, so I'm like, this gun's actually trash, so yes, my number one spot, it's an absolutely trash gun, but it does steal my name, um, but then, again, if you were to pack a punch this gun, it becomes the Phantom, so the this gun's absolutely trash because my name is not uh, Phantom, it's Spectre. So, yeah, this number one isn't probably what you guys were expecting because it's not really a good number one. And, you know, I figured out that it's not a good number one either when I started using it for this gameplay. So, yeah, that's that's uh, number one spot. So, you guys, that was my top five favorite guns in Call of Duty Zombies. This will most likely not change unless, you know, the next Treyarch game comes out and they have a bomb-ass gun that makes it in this list, which it will probably because, you know, the Spectre's clearly out because that gun's trash. And now that I look back at the gameplay, it kind of did kill, but not really. It got maybe, like, five zombies. It probably killed five zombies. And then there's, like, four clips or whatever of ammo. It's kind of dumb. But... If you're new, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. I know I just flipped those, but I don't care. And that's all I got. See ya.